like that. Or sabi sa Mark chapter 10, not so with you. Not so with you. The world wants power at all costs. Not so with you. People want to get the upper hand no matter what. Not so with you. People in authority abuse their power. Not so with you. Alam niyo ba ng Marshall, oh? Di pa kayo tinama ka lang doon? Tingnan niyo na lang yung mga professors na buhay na sila. Okay? Alam niyo ng Marshall, oh, ang isang naging event noon, wala kang social media, pasalamat pa sa naglagay niyo, pero kumala na yung isa sa mga kausap ng pakulo nung panahon na yun, nung first lady nung panahon na yun, bigla mo naman ang salita na, what are we in power for? Para mo pa, at nasa kapangirihan tayo, Ginagawa natin ito, hindi pa tayo magsasamantala. Para ano ba? At nasa kapamilihan tayo. Ganun na takot ang isip ng mundong ito. What are we in power for? Pero sabi ng Panginoon, not so with you. There are those who are so hungry for, for power that they would spend on people, that they would use people, that they would manipulate people, that they would do anything and everything just to get ahead. Not so with you. People would grab credit even for the things that they haven't done. Not so with you. People are so conscious with their reputation of what people would say that they would choose what is popular rather than what is right. Not so with you. And to underscore his point, the Lord got up from the meal. He took off his outer clothing and wrapped his towel around his waist. And after that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. Alam niyo yung suot ng Panginoon na yun, maganda yun, di ba? You have to remember, nasa, it was seamless that the soldiers even gambled for that robe. At yung robe niyo, ang sabi nyo ng isang commentary, the robe that Jesus wore had been specially prepared at great cost. It may be that Jesus or Christ wore the robe of a rabbi. And such a robe would have entitled him to respect and honor. And in Israel, only the priest was held in higher esteem than the rabbi. But the Lord took off that robe, took that robe off, and wrapped a towel around his waist. At anong sabi ni uh, Pentecost? That towel was the sign of a servant. A servant had no position and no honor. Talo ko na dito, parang yung nagdaliling ni Tito, nagkakaralan na rin ninyo, that foot washing was a must in that dirty, dusty place. And it was the work of the loneliest of slaves. At yung uri ng slave, na kapag pinatalo mo sa building, ang sasabihin ng slave, from what floor, sir? But the Lord stood down to that very level. Kasi nga, gusto niya sabihin sa mga lagat niya, for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give His life a ransom for me. Alam niyo mga alagad, siguro sila gusto nila ang kasa ng Pahalang Panginoon. Pero they won't dare to wash each other's feet. Sabi ka sa MacArthur Study Bible, Peers did not wash one another's feet except very rarely. And notice this, as a bar of what? Great love. And thus to serve like Christ means to sacrificially serve. This means you just keep on serving. No matter what. You don't even have to receive anything in return. You don't even expect to receive a goal. Kahit na kayo mga taong pinaglilingkuran mo, hindi pa ma-appreciate yung ginagawa mo. Kahit yung mga taong pinaglilingkuran mo, hindi mo ma-spay mo na talaga ang gusto eh. Kahit yung mga taong pinaglilingkuran Ano, ngayon, kakampi mo, bukas ang away mo. You keep on serving. Alala ko na nagpapasunod ako dito sa pulo. Pagdating ko, kasi umalis yung mag-asawa na nagsiserve doon. Ako pa nasisi, wala na akong kasalanan. Eh, may isang pamilya, umalis eh. Ito ang problema. Sa liit ng church, alatang halap tayo ang pag-alis ng pamilya. Gamang-gaman namin yung kakulangan. Bigyan tayo bakante yung church. Wala tayo bakante. Tapos ang, 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 ang press release ni tatay, hanggang si Pastor Eric ang pastor dyan, hindi ako babalik sa church niya. Hindi, hindi. Sipin mo ba yung pastor? 
sakit naman sa loob nun. Hindi naman pwede sa bato ka, hindi maramdaman. Agad si Pastor Eri, ito Pastor Jan, hindi ako mabalik. Alam niyo, pag nasasalit mo ko, pinamati ko pa yun. Kaso kung nakamamatay lang, hindi kayo patagal lang akong patay, baka hindi nyo lang akong nakilala, patay na yun. O kaya naman, pag may kausap ka, pag may kausap ako, binati ko tayo, magkatakatong po, parang kinausap ko yung pader. Check mo. Hindi, sa tumbalang alam niyo, isang nyo binati ko, tapos hindi ako pinasing, hinawa ako ng talaga sa rin. Hindi, baka mamaya ano, papunta pala, nasa ka sa ano ko, pero akala ko, may papul, kaya naman lang ako na pala yung nagpunta, ba? Ito ba? Baka totoo yung piling mo ng Diyos, ba? Ganun mo, so piling mo, patay ka ba? Hindi ka lang pinapasin dito. Tapos nung nakita kay asawa sa ipang hari, hindi pa rin po ako nawawal ng pag-asa. Napabalik kayo sa church. Napagpagandang dami, pinagaling na yung asawa. Pasto, napapakumbaba, hindi ko pa umaatin. Mateng, salamat sa Diyos, puno na yung church. <laughs> eh kaso paalis na ako nung pupunta na ako ng Capital City Baptist Church. Eto naman kayo ng press release ni tatay. Hanggang hindi bumabalik si Pastor eh, hindi ako papalik sa church na to. Hindi ko maintindihan talaga eh. <laughs> Pero wala naman kagawa, ganoon talaga ang pagpiling ko sa Christian eh. And after that, you know, the Lord continued the meal. At alam naman natin ang kwento na sa verse 2, sinabi, The devil by now had Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, firmly in his grip, all set for the betrayal. And then, verse 3, you know, na sinabi ng Panginoon, isa sa inyo, magkakanin mo sa akin. Na alam nyo, nung una ko nabasa ito, nag-isip ako eh. Ako, ang bagal yata ng pick-up ng mga alagad niyo. Baka hindi kayo pangilay nila yung mag-selfie ang Panginoon sa katulog kay Judas, isa sa inyo ang magkakalunod sa akin. Di ba? Bakit hindi mo sinabi ng Panginoon, isa sa inyo ang magkakalunod sa akin, sabay-sabay sa ng pagiging kay Judas? Bakit hindi nila na-pick up? Kaso kung naman nila? Sinabi natin, isa sa inyo ang magkakalunod, bakit wala man silang clue, kahit katiting lang, na si Judas yung tinutukin ng Panginoon. Actually, kasi ganito eh, meron tayong maling concept sa ano eh, sa, sa last chapter eh. Una sabi nito, Jesus' favorite disciple was sitting next to him at the meal. And Simon, at the Peter, motioned for that disciple to find out which one Jesus met. Like no, dahil hindi dapat kinuhin na dito si Judas eh. Di ba? At ang sabi nito, so the disciple leaned toward Jesus and asked, Lord, which one of us are you talking about? And the Lord answered, I will dip this piece of bread in the sauce and give it to the one I was talking about. Then Jesus dipped the bread and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Notice may clue na ito. Kaya nyo naman pinayong tinapay. Yun yun! O sino yung tanong ko sa picture? Yun yun! Hindi pa rin again. Di ba? Kasi ganito yan. Tayo kasi pag naisip nyo last after yun yung tsure. Di ba? Parang tayo kami ang time of painting kasi yan sa favorite picture natin. Pag nasa ibang bansa ka, di ba? Paano mo nalaman kung may Pilipino doon? Di ba? Sa sila, tabo. Sa sala, may display. Dalawang isang malaking kutsara, isang kutsara ng Pilipino. Di ba? Mayroon isang kutsara, isang Pilipino. Mayroon ano pang mga palatanda na may Pilipino doon? Sa dinner table, doon may nakahang na last supper. Yung kulay nila wala pang nabasa, chok. Alam niyo, di ba? Ganun yun eh, yung last supper. Pero hindi naman talaga ganyan eh. Ang itsura niya, kaya nga nakalil si John kay Jesus, nakareclaim naka sila. They were set feet in a U-shaped table para dito papasok yung waiter na magsiserve sa kanila. And John sat next to Jesus at his right hand. Kasi ganito yan eh. Ang Passover talaga, ganyan talaga setting, nasa kanya yung pinakabata. At si John yung hindi nakabata. So kung liba ko, i-relock namin yung last supper dito sa PBS, among napakuti, ako yung nasa kanyang ni Dr. Kara. Di ba si Dr. Kara? Ako yung nasa kanyang. Di ba no? Huwag nyo na yung talong si Lina sa kaliwa. Pero ito po yung nasa kanyang sa kaliwa. Now Jesus sat 
next to Jesus at his right hand. Now, it appears, kasi sabi, Peter or Simon motioned to the disciple. So, dumala ba si Peter na sa kapila? Sama, no? Kasi, pili ba, dahil hindi niya. Nagtatalo pa kayo ng video, sino yung magaling? Tapos, dumala sa kapila? Hindi ka malas sa kaliwa. And so, that's why, when Jesus announced that they would be betrayed, Peter signaled across the table so that John would ask the Lord, who was it? Now, sabi ng Panginoon, kung hindi nung pigay ng tinapay, yun yung magkakalino sa akin. It appears na si Judas nasa kahalakaliwa ng Panginoon. Alam ba ninyo na the fact that the Judas was at the left hand of my Lord meant that he even gave his betrayer a great place of honor kasi pag ikaw nasa kaliwa, that's a place of honor. Doon niya pinwesto si Judas. No? Kaya isa niyo sa mga kaya kung hindi nila clueless na ito pa talaga yung magbibinay. Hindi nila pinapasok sa isipan lang nila kasi nang isiyak kasi hindi na nakaupo siya sa place of honor. And then, remember that the sign the Lord gave to John to identify the betrayer was the giving of the bread. Now, bakit gano'n? We need to understand the culture behind the act of giving the bread. Sabi nga, eh, bakit yung pinigay ni Judas? Kasi nga, the giving of morsel at a feast. No, yung pinapay, kasi wala nang kutsara nun. Bebring niya, sasaw sa inyo sa fake soap, tapos yung bibigay niya dun sa, dun sa queso po, no? Isa pa kasi nasubukan. The giving of morsel at a feast was a traditional expression of love, and friendship in biblical times and it signified special respect and manifested goodwill and that's the reason why they didn't get the signal that's the reason why they didn't get it that's why they did not attack Judas they fought all alone that the Lord was actually honoring Judas kaya naniniwala ko si Judas hindi ang victim ng prophecy hindi lang victim ng devil. Kasi the Lord had expressed His love to Judas by sitting him to His left and giving bread to him. In other words, the Lord gave His betrayer a chance to repent. Si Pinyo na lang pakapoy ng moment na yun. Sinabi na Lord, sasayong magkakalunod sa araw. Pagkatapos, sinasaw niya yung tinapay ng sasaw. Tapos tinapot niya kay Judas. O pasigod na, baka sinumupa niya kay Judas. He was expressing his love. He was expressing his chance to repent. It is as if, as if, he was saying, "Okay, who does who does come? I don't know." He was saying, "Okay, I'm giving you this chance. You can change your mind." And yet, he just went on to betray the Lord. And so, to to serve like Christ, we have a tough heart for ministry. It means to unconditionally seek out or reach out. That even if we may not see something wonderful, attractive, or excellent in the object of our love, still we must serve nonetheless. Because serving with the love of Christ through ministry is unconditional. No strings attached. No hidden charges. Yan ang tatanda na to sacrificially serve, to unconditionally love. Ganun daw ang seek out. Yun ang dapat daw natin gawin sa ministeryo. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, ang paglilingkod sa Panginoon, hindi naman ang bilang pastor eh. Alam nyo ba ang paglilingkod sa, sa Panginoon? Parang katulad lang yung nasa tekbud kayo. Pag lang naman may sabla eh, saka ka lang napapansin. Napakahilom nga eh, hindi naawa ako sa kanina eh. Kasi kulong na yun, sabay-sabay hilogin yun eh. Ang ministry, is, is actually a timeless job. Sabi ni Sri, kung magaling ka lang, lagi ka na-appreciate, nagaling ka ng ibang ano, nagaling ka lang ng ibang gagawin. Kasi sa totoo lang, mas malamang may hindi ko ma-appreciate. Kung tumuti na lang, meron tayo pastor's appreciation day, tama? Ano araw yun? Sa araw ng October, tama, no? Kung saan siya na-shower ang pastor ng kids. No? T-shirt, no? Lampi, papa nak patak sila, para saya, no one day they will devote to appreciate you. And the next three hundred sixty-four days, 
they will criticize you. Eh, totoo lang. Kaya kung hindi pa kibay-kibay ang dibdib mo, huwag ka lang maglingkod. Kung inahanap mo sa ministeryo to anger to your self-esteem. Kasi alam nyo, yung isang may mga tao, mababa ang tingin sa sarili sa ministeryo dahil love ka. Gusto mo doon. Na-affirm ka eh. Nasusuk yung ego mo eh. Pero kung yun ang ahabot mo sa ministry, magtinta ka na lang ng ice cream, inahabot mo pa ng mga bata. Hindi lang appreciation nun. Di po ba? Sabi nga nila, if you want to please people, be a nice inventor. But if you don't, if you don't care when you please people, but the Lord, then serve Him. Serve the Lord. Kahit na wala ko na matanggap na ano, ano, hindi ko sinasabi hindi kailangan na. Ako, yung mga text of appreciation, nakatabi yan sa cellphone ko. Hindi ko binuburihan. Yung, yung, yung mga letters sa akin ng mga members, kahit yung sa dami ko pang church nung manis ako, nakatabi yan. Binabasa ko yan. Sa mga panahon na nahihirapan na ako, binabasa ko ulit. Para kayo paano maisip ko, mahal ako dito eh. Kahit kami nga nililig ako dito sa taong ito, mahal ako dito eh. Binabasa ko yung mga naging text niya, binabasa ko yung mga naging sulat niya. Totoo lang na yun, yung hindi lonely in ministry, huwag na natin pabahoy pa. Romantic sa isang ministry. Ganun talaga at akuruan yan. Pero the reason why you're serving is because you love the people. And you love the people. Even if they don't love you back. Even if they don't appreciate you. Even if they don't give you a gift. Dahil nagano ka lang ng Pasko, nakita mo, recycle mo pa yun. Di ba? Just continue serving. No strings attached, no hidden charges. And you keep on following up these people kahit na ano ka na nila, pinatagawa ka na nila, ilalfried ka na, binlak ka na sa Facebook. Now later on, Jesus predicted that Peter would deny him three times before tumilaan yung alam. We know that it came true. Pero alam niyo paano nakabalik si Peter? Ito ang sinabi ng Panginoon. When the Lord predicted the denial of Peter, ito sinabi ni Lord, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat. Sifin niyo? Sabihin sa'yo, ano? Susubukin kayo ni Satan. Yung sakitang ask, pag tinilan mo sa ibang version, demanded. Satan has demanded to sift you as wheat. Kung kayo nasa pwesto ni Pita, yung maraming naman. Sifin mo yun? Target ka, you have this target painted on your nose, on your forehead. Pero ganda na sinabi ni Lord, But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. So the Lord knew all along that Peter would delay him, and yet he took the time to encourage Peter. Ang sabi niya, I pray that your faith may not fail. Sabi sa ibang version, I pray that your faith may not give in or give out. O sabi pa, I pray, I pray that your faith will be strong. And so to serve like Christ, to really have a heart for ministry, is to loyally support, to sacrificially serve, to unconditionally reach out, and to loyally support. You may or may not have a pleasant emotion toward the object of your love, yet you stay committed. People may or may not appreciate what you're doing, but you still serve. And after washing the feet of the disciples, the Lord said, imitate me. Sabi niya, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. Of course, you can be metaphorically talking about it. Hindi naman to ritual na dapat kami ng church, hindi to dagdag sa baptism and communion. You know what? Yung sabihin lang nun, just as I serve you, you also serve others. At ang sabi pa niya rito, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent you. If you claim to be his followers, we have to follow the pattern. We have to love like him. We have to serve like Him. And so you have to find a way. 
to serve people inside and outside the church in a way that expresses the heart of God, the love of Christ. Sabi pa ni Lord eh, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Kaya isang nakita ko bilang pastor, tandaan nyo ito kapag kayo nagtilikod na sa Panginoon. Of course, okay lang naman mapunta ka sa mga birthday party, anniversary celebrations, okay lang naman, masang kahit kita sa ganun. Sa usually sa mga events, sa ganyan sa mga members ng church, nasa listahan ka. Kaya lang nyo naisip ko lang, personally, ako tumatanggi ako, or pag hindi nyo kinipita, ako pupunta. Alam naman mga pastor at takilang game crash. Siyempre, pag inipita ko, pag hindi, hindi naman pupunta. Hindi naman sa prayer yun eh, isip na, kaya ano pang gulo, pastor, hindi pala para sa iyo. No? Ngayon, sa pagpastor ka, mga sahan, at palagi ka na sa presidential table. Pag may kasal, of course, in-expect mo na doon ka, pero minsan na may lang ako wala doon, eh, ano bakit? Hindi mo pagkain sa presidential table. Nakatasan na yun, pati sa buhay, pag napamili ka pa. Pero seriously, naalala ko yung nabasa ko kayo, eh, Mayor Rudolf Brugliani ng uh, New York. Siya yung pastor nung, ay, siya pastor, siya yung mayor nung 9-11. Ito ang kanyang policy sa mayor. Weddings, optional. Funerals, mandatory. I thought about that. Yung mga kasiyahan, sa totoo lang, hindi ka ka, pasto, punta ka! Usually, napapasig ko ito eh. Balik na lang kung magsasalita ka. Pero, napapasig ko ito, alam nyo, napapilan na pinapagawa sa iyo. Manalangin sa pagkain, para bang kulang yung event, pag hindi pinipray yung pagkain, pag hindi sumakat, pag hindi pinipray yung pasto. So, sa akin, bakit ako kailangan po? O ito, punta ako, o hindi ka alam mo. Pero, please ko, mas kailangan ako kapag crisis. Pag crisis. Kaya magtama si Giuliani. Weddings, optional. Funerals, mandatory. I may not be in your birthday parties. I may not be in your anniversary celebrations. But pag nasa hospital ka, pupunta. Kaya hindi ka po, kung hindi yun ang compromise ako, mas madali ako maahawa, pero paano sa'yo pupunta ang kita kapatid? Pupunta ang kita. Lalala ko, may isang pamilya sa church, dati ko pang church, na hanggang ngayon, tinuturo nila ng family member. You know why? Sapagkat nung namatay yung tatay na hospital, nandun ako, nung namatay yung tatay, isa ko sa walang pinawagan, ilamutan ko pa yung katawan doon sa kwarto. And then, sabi ng pastor, sige, tawagin ka na lang namin, pagburo hindi, may I'll be with you. All for one group. Pagpunta sa panirarya, pagpili ng kasket, pati pagsundo sa anak niya, kung time niya, papatay pa naman pa lang, nakakritikal pa lang siya, lumipad yung anak, galing sa ibang bansa, hinahabol na kung sana po ay patatay niya pagdati, kaso nasa ere siya, namatay yung tatay. And I had the unfortunate task of going to the airport and talking to the person and telling him, your dad is dead. Actually, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin, pakakita ko na sa akin, alam niya na yun, sabi mo, ba't susunod yung pastor? But alam niyo, since then, the family would call me, pastor, punta ka sa kasali mo ka, pastor, wala na ako dyan, hindi na ako pastor, doon sa church na yun. Pastor, um, meron ang problema yun, pwede ba ito makausap? Pastor, ang kapatid ko may problema, pwede ko makausap? Hindi niyo makakalimutan niyo pala. Hindi niyo mga blessing na sinabi ng Panginoon dito. If you want to be blessed, serve like Christ. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, serve or nalangkar ko na. So you really want to have that heart of ministry, look at Christ. Have the love of Christ. It is unconditional, it is sacrificial, it is loyal. Tayo po yung manalangin. Patawarin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa mga pagkakataon na aming paglilingkod ay nakukulayan ng iba po nga nga rin. Forgive us, O Lord, when there are times we seek our approval from what people would say, not from what you would say. Forgive us, O Lord, sa mga pagkakataon na mas na inahanap namin magpa-impress rather than express your love. Tawarin niyo po kami yung Panginoon sa mga pagkakataon na masiniisip namin ang aming reputasyon kaysa sa aming karakter. Tawarin niyo po kami yung Panginoon. Na sa mga paglilikod namin na wala doon ang puso namin, 
sa mga paglilikod namin na may makaming motibo bukod sa pagmamahal, patawarin ng buhay. By your grace, Lord, please sustain us. By your grace, empower us so that we could really love like it. So that we could really serve like it. Lord, it cuts against the grain of our selfish desires. Dali ito kami Panginoon sa punto na matututo kami magmahal kahit na walang magmamahal na kami. Na matututo kami maglingkod kahit na wala kami marinig man lang sa pinaglingkod na. Inamin namin Panginoon ang pagkakataon niloloko namin ang sarili namin hindi kami nagiging bukas sa pagtutulid ninyo. At kung meron po dito na kinausap ninyo patungkol sa ibang puti po namin sa paglilingkod, I pray for all of you, hindi po namin papagawalain. But we will come before you and seek your transformation of our hearts so that we could really love and serve like you. Salamat po, Diyos. Amen.